So I will attempt a review here today mm. and I will actually do a series of reviews but a series of two reviews, two blends um, and I have to apologize first off to Talking Tommy because I'm stealing your concept I'm doing a series of Swedish over-the-counter blends mm. of course I could include the Borkum Riff line but I will probably not do that uh, for those of you, of you who don't know, Volcom Reef is a Swedish blend. I mean, it was um, they first started making it in Sweden, Swedish match. Uh, maybe not nowadays, but now maybe they sold the, the rights to that blend. Probably did. But I actually, for three three years when I went to high school. I went in. The t uh, I lived in the town of Arvika, where they produced Volcan Reef. And the odor that came out, came from the factory is was much nicer than the tobacco itself. <laughs> really nice. So yeah, today I will be reviewing Caravelle. I like this pouch art. So Caravelle. They have a nice caravel ship, Columbus Caravel Pinta, 1492. Flavored with rum, mellow mixture. Mm -hmm. So let me read you the description here, I have to translate. It all started back in Columbus time. Already Columbus and other seafarers understood the finesse of blending tobacco with a touch of rum. We have blended Jamaica rum in Caraval to give the tobacco a smooth and soft taste. This is why we say that Caraval is taste refined with rum. Um, this blend consists of fully ripe choice Virginia and burly bright tobaccos. Mm -hmm. So this is what it looks like. Mm, I try shag ribbon. I don't know typical OTC cups. Mm, mostly bright and brown with some. Darker specs. I mean, it's a, it's a good, good-looking tobacco. I think. Yeah. So I smoked this first time when I started smoking pipes 18 years ago. I was not a big fan. I was actually surprised to find out that this blend was still around. I, I thought it was discontinued long ago. But I saw it and I had to get a pouch. So, what do I think of it? Well, it's, it's kind of nice. What I did really like about it is that um, it feels quite natural. If you put some uh, on, out on a piece of paper to dry, 10 minutes is perfect. Uh, so that means it, it doesn't have any humectants or anything like that. And the taste is quite natural as well. It's a light aromatic. Mm. It packs well and it smokes really well and it's it's smooth but it has a full strength so you can 
you can puff away with this and it's usually okay but it can bite you sometimes and the bite combined with the full strength well not very nice mm. And the, the, the strength intensifies as you progress in the bowl. But it's not too strong for me. Maybe I would have preferred it without the rum. But the rum adds something. So, is it the most interesting blend? in the world? No. It's not very complex. But it has this nice old-timey feeling. Taste. Which I like. And the retro hail. Nice. So will I buy this again? Maybe not. But at the same time, I, I have to say, if I went somewhere and I forgot forgot to bring some pipe to FLF and I could find this locally, I wouldn't be too unhappy. Oh, it's more than decent. Oh, by the way, very appropriately, I'm smoking this in my dollar pipe but yeah I, I was so surprised to see that this was still around because you never hear people talk about it you never see anyone smoking it so I guess it won't be around for too much longer I'm I think it's only available in Sweden. I would be surprised. Oh well, I actually recently found out that a Danish company, Paul Olsen, my own blend, has a blend called Vinja, and it's supposedly a clone of this. Maybe it's much better. <laughs> but yeah, this is a decent smoke. Can be a bit harsh, but maybe that's the birdie. And I'm, as you probably know, I am sensitive to birdies. But it's no big deal. I mean, I can, I can smoke and enjoy this. Yeah, so if you if you're ever in Sweden, why not pick up a pouch of this just for the fun of it? I mean, as I said, it won't be around for much longer, I suspect. And it's yeah, it's really an honest old-timey tobacco. Mm. Similar blends, I would go for Macbaron Plum Cake, although that is much milder, sweeter, probably a bit more interesting, but it's this, uh, this is honesty that I really appreciate, yeah, but they are kind of similar. Okay, so getting near the end of this bowl. Mm -hmm. So the next uh, blend in this series, which will probably be, uh, I mean, there will be only two reviews in this series, I suspect, because no one wants to see a review of Vulcan Reef. And I don't want to smoke it. <laughs> you know what I mean. So uh, anyway, next blend would be this. 
the big classic among Swedish power tobaccos. Count Gilbert Hamilton's mixture. Actually, this has been around since 1924. So look forward to that or not. So again, Tommy, I apologize for stealing your concept. Okay, that's it for now. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.